Hey Dinosaurians and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. This is the place where I keep all my dinosaur figurines, models and action figures. And today we will take a look at our latest horses edition. Yes, I have just got plenty of new horses to add to our collection. I'm super happy, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's begin. The first one right here, it's a horse which is known as Bash Gear Curly Curly. So it's a pretty cool name, I must say. And it actually says it's known for their curly fur. Bash Gears are said to be the only hypoallergenic breed of horse. Okay, so where's the curly fur? Probably right here, you can see. Yeah, really nice one. They have actually like swirls around the, the fur. So this is our first horse figure of the day. Let's take a look at another one. This one looks really big. I love this one because it has like really beautiful fur around the legs. So let's take a look at what is this called. Hopefully by, you know, in a few weeks time, we are able to re like remember. Oh, this is known as a Tinker Horse. So let's take a look at the facts. The long hair that covers the Tinker's lower legs is known as feathering. Alright, so all these are known as feathering. It's a pretty cool horse. It's a um, 2018 figure, so it's relatively new. While well, you can see this horse has a really beautiful mane. Okay, so this is a Tinker horse. Let's open up another one right here. So our horse's collection has just like multiplied by like two to three hundred percent. So this is known as a quarter horse gelding or gelding. I think it's known as um, gelding. It's pronounced as gelding. So let's see what is written right here. It basically says the quarter horse is the supreme mount of the American West, which is like a um, really really supreme horse. Okay, really beautiful one, a brown horse. Okay, here we have another majestic looking black and white horse. So let's take a look at this. This is known as a Gypsy Vanner Stallion. Okay, sounds very cool. So what is written right here? Standing at 14 to 16 hands, their strong yet gentle nature makes them a pleasure to ride. So this is known as a Gypsy Vanner Stallion. They have all, they're known to be really gentle horses. Well, I really love the feathering around the legs. Okay, looks really, really beautiful. Let's take a look at this white horse with some black spots. Looks very, very interesting. Okay. Comes with a protective, protective stand. So what is written right here? Nap Stropper. So this is the breed of this horse. Nap Stropper. Okay, let's take a look at this. The nap strapper spots made it a popular choice among European nobility during the 1800s. Okay, so it is known for its uh, really really distinctive black spots on its body. Nap strapper, really interesting name. The 2017 figure looks really nice. This is a uh, black horse. So just for information, I purchased all these figures myself. This is not like a pit episode of what got all these figures on my own, I paid them on my own. So this is known as a Frisian Mare. Okay, let's take a look at the facts. Right here, Frisian Mare. It's a black horse with black hair and fur. With a calm domino and elegant appearance, Frisians are often used for movies and TV shows. So they're really calm and um, elegant. Yeah, I can see that. Really beautiful horse. Another one right here. Let's open this up. I think this is known as a thorough, thoroughbred. Let's see. A thoroughbred. Okay, really nice, interesting name. Thoroughbred. Let's open this up and have a look. Built for speed, thoroughbreds were developed by breeding English and Arabian horses. 
okay, interesting. So, but this has came off. So they are actually very, very fast horses. Wow, this one looks cool. Yep. It has a human on top of it. So let's open this up. Okay, oh, the human is actually attached to the horse. That's really nice. So let's see, let's look at the name right here. It's known as Audrey on Streaming Light. <laughs> I think Audrey is the girl's name for sure. So let's take a look at uh, you know what is written right here. Gypsy vanners are easily recognizable by their long flowing manes and their tails. So this is basically a um, gypsy vanner. I think we have seen this just now. Okay, gypsy vanner, which is very very well known for the gentle nature. Yeah. So these two are actually the same horse horses. With a really really small one. And um, what is this? Clydesdale foal. Foal is basically like a young horse, I guess. So let's take a look at this. A Clydesdale foal will grow up to weigh as much as a small car. Wow, so that is pretty heavy. So you can see this is a really beautiful young horse. And um, what is this? We have, some, we have some farm animals, so we'll be unboxing the farm animals probably in another video. So today I'm just showing you guys some of the new horses that we have just added to our collection, okay? So what is this? Okay, let's take a look. A really beautiful brown horse. Oh, it's a Clydesdale stallion. So just now we have a Clydesdale mare, right? The famous Clydesdale horse is over 6 feet tall. Wow, that is pretty tall. Um, yeah, very tall horse. We have a brown one here which is already open. Morgan Man. Let's take this. Morgan Man. All Morgans are descendants of the stallion Justin Morgan. We have no idea who is Justin Morgan. It's probably a um, very famous, you know, breed of horses. Okay, this is our duck. I'm gonna put this aside. You know, we have to chase down farm animals as well, so that will be for another video. Another farm animal. We do have a small horse here, a foal. And this is known as a Palomino foal. Interesting name. I don't think there's any effects, you know, because I do recognize this is an, an old figure. It doesn't come with, come, come with any effects. So I'm just going to remove this. So it's known as a Palamino foal. Really beautiful one. Here we have a brown horse. Let's take a look. It's an Arabian man. Right, you can see it has like, wow. The, the, the mane is actually like shiny, it's kind of cool. Even the tail looks really really shiny as well. Oops. Arabians were originally bred by Bedoins for their speed and endurance. So they have really good speed and endurance. So that's a cool fact. Here we have a white horse that looks kind of um, cool. Andal Andalusian Stallion. Let's see. So my horses collection is really really getting really big. Hopefully we can um, you know make more horses videos. Andalusian Andalusian Stallion. Cavalry officers prize its agility. So um, I think some of the um, cavalry officers are like police or soldiers. I can't I don't really know. So they are actually you know, they are huge admirers of um, its agility. I guess they are strong, they are fast. What is this? Morgan Stallion. Oh, did we just purchase like two of the them? That is the same. You know, this is more like a Morgan man, which is like a uh, female one, I think. So let's take a look at this Morgan Stallion. See what is written right here. The Morgan horse is the state animal of Vermont. 
right? It's a, basically like a stiff animal of Vermont, which is, uh, I, I'm not sure where it is in Vermont. Okay, we, we, we have a pig right here. This will be used for another video, maybe tomorrow. Another brown horse. Let's open. Oh. Looks really beautiful. It's a Tennessee walking horse. What do I mean by walking horse? I think it's for like competition, I guess, probably. Let's see. These horses are good natured and come in many different colors. Tennessee walking horse. Looks really beautiful. It has this really cool white stripe. You know, down the face. Okay, we have a cow here that would be used for another video for sure. A pig that would be used for another video. Another one. We're gonna do an updated horse collection really soon. Okay, because we still have um, some other horses in our drawers. So this will not be the last video you know for horses. Palamino Mustang. Man, wow. I think previously we have a Palamino horse as well. Queen Isabella of Spain originally bought this horse to North America. Really beautiful horse. You can see there's like really really you know curly man. Curly man. Okay, let's get this out of the pack as well. What is this? Palamino Mustang Stallion. Is that the same one? Oh my goodness. It looks very similar. This is a man and that is a stallion. Okay. Let's see. Palamino horses are a color pattern and can be of any breed. Oh, I see. So it's basically just a color pattern. It's not a, exactly a breed. Okay, I've heard of this breed before. So let's take a look. It's an entirely like white horse. Very cool. It's known as a Lippy Zaner Stallion. These white stallions are famous for their dressage performances. Okay, so they're used for performances. Looks really elegant, I must say. This is a Half linger man. Okay, let's open this up. Half linger man. Let's get this out. Wow, it's hard to open this, guys. Let's see what is written right here. This sturdy pony has a beautiful golden coloring in white or blonde mane and tail. So it's like a pony. Just left with a few more. A huge one right here. Wow, really beautiful one, I must say. What is this? A fjord. Really nice name. Short and sweet. One of the older horse breeds, the fjord was used by Vikings for riding and farm work. Wow, the mane looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, it has like some really cool style. It seems like majority of the horses are like pretty tame and gentle, you know, from what we have read so far. So let's see, what is this? This is a beautiful looking horse with like different patterns on his body. It's a Pinto Mustang Stallion. Wow, really cool name, I must say. The term Pinto refers to the distinctive color patching, color patch, distinctive patch coloring feature. So this is known as a Pinto color patch. Really beautiful. Let's have a look at this. This one right here. What is this known as? Krewalski horse. 
sounds very... It sounds like a European name. Pribowski is the only truly wild horse left. It has never been domesticated. So, wow, this is the only wild horse left. It has never been domesticated. Which means they could be like pretty untamed and wild, I guess. Our last horse figure. Let's see. Thoroughbred Stallion. I think pre previously we have this Thoroughbred Bread. Um, okay, this is a stallion. The thoroughbred can be characterized as the world's fastest horse breed. Wow, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah. So basically, these are all the new horses that we have collected, and um, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I can actually show you guys, um, you know, more another horse collection video really soon. Together with my old horses, I think that would be really nice. Thanks for watching this guys, I will see you guys in the next one.